Oh yeah, look at that trophy. That thing is sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. In this video, I will be racing in my very first ocean open water competition. It's gonna be rough. Let's do this. Welcome back everyone. We are towards the end of our lactate set here. Yusuf and I are battling it out. Lots of pain happening. I was strong to the 75. I haven't died that hard in a while. Oh, it's been a minute. Brings me back. Coach Long is gonna do a 25 breaststroke for time. He's coaching us, but he's also doing some fast 25s with us. Let's see what he goes. <laughs> Take your mark. Hup. Oh, great pull out. Ooh, 12-4. Oh, man. Yusuf is our newest member of the Indiana coaching staff, and he is still swimming, like, for fun, part-time, because he's still going to some big meets, like World Cups, Short Course Worlds, all that stuff, even though he's coaching. So I'm coming in, swimming with him a few times a week, just to be the teammate that he needs, you know, because swimming by yourself is hard, so I'm here to push him, help him a little bit. We just finished our breaststroke lactate sprint set, and now John and I are gonna do a little racing, some freestyle. We're gonna, remember that 50 free we did a couple weeks ago? We're gonna do some 25s and 50s max out and see. Yusuf's on the pain train right now. He's hurting. Come on, Yusuf, go! Oh God, he looks horrible. I'm not gonna, I'm cutting that out. Oh, he, he's so vertical. Go! Woo! All right, that was not bad, good job. You look great, Yusuf. The 50 free rematch, John, this is it. It doesn't really count though, because they're both really tired, so. But it's something. Oh, dude, I'll take, I will take a 21.5 right now. I accept that. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I was closing the line. Oh yeah, you were, yeah, you dude, were you finished so much stronger than you, you thought you would. There. Okay, everybody, let's transport ourselves to Florida. A couple days ago, I was in Florida, so let's go there. Three, two, one. Good morning, everyone. We are walking out to the beach to find where this whole race thing starts. Check out this pool. Here, look at this. I think I'm the very first one to show up. There's no one here. Check out this view, guys. This view. There's about 200 people here for this open water race. There's three races. There's a half mile for the youngsters, like for the really little kids. Then there's a full mile for the people that just wanna kinda cruise, swim a nice little easy 20 minute race. And then there's also a 5K. I will be racing the 5K along with Blake P, who hasn't really been in the water much lately, so. Eh, we're gonna see how it goes. Yesterday, Blake and I did a little warm up swim. We swam about, I don't know, maybe 2,000 meters total, and the water was hot. The waves are looking a little choppy this morning. It's gonna be fine. Totally not gonna get beat by a bunch of 15 year olds. Just gotta check my pride. We found it. Here's the finish right there. You run in. And there's the start. So we start there, run. There's a buoy there, a buoy there, and then one out there. There are people here that are looking, looking pretty professional. And uh, I am not. <laughs> we we found an open that. water professional who's explaining me the course. Say hey. Hello. So uh, there's a buoy way out there, there, that, I don't know what's going on here, but. We're gonna make we're gonna make it work. We've got a tight battle for first place here on the 800 or the the half mile. They're about to finish. They're coming in, and then Blake and I are gonna give the winners their medals. Go! Oh, dude, they're coming here. Here they come. Why don't will they get two? Yeah. Oh, those are some pretty sweet medals. Go! Run! Run! Good job. Congratulations. I'm gonna medal you. You too. Gonna medal you. Good job. You are a champion. It's actually. A Good job, guys. Guys, good race. What a tight finish. I've already got my little anklet on right here. 
so that they can track me when I'm doing the, the 5K, which is the next race. Go, 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 go! Woo! Good job! Here you go. Medal that kid, he's a champion, it's Blake. The 2022 the oh yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. Go, 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 go! Woo! Good job! Nailed it. Congratulations, high five. Hi. Good job, you did great. Getting a little nervous in my race, guys. I tried to get, I was trying to get Brett and Tony to do the 5K, but they were like, no, we're gonna do the mile. So. Yeah, he's totally not dead. Woo! Yeah, that's right. That's the kind of grimace you want to see after a flight fade. Good job. Blake was seventh, sixth place. I was fourth place. I missed the podium, but hey, I still got medals, baby. We saw quite a few jellyfish, some big fish. It was a good race. Now the mile's gonna go off and I get to watch Anthony Irvin swim the mile. Should Along we go with... up there and hold him down? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> just, just hold him down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Got all these Olympic 50 freestylers and Ryan Lochte right there, ready to go. I think of all the Olympians, Ryan's probably going to do the best. We'll find out. Go get him. Go get him. Five. Let's go. Good luck. Good luck. Godspeed. I believe in you. <laughs> That's the longest race Brent has ever swam, for sure. Trevor beat two Olympians. Yeah, he did. Go, Ryan! Go, Ryan, go! Go, Ryan! Woo! Yeah, Ryan! Top 10, baby. Top 10. My brother beat an Olympian. That's right. That's right. Two. two Olympians. It's impressive. Yeah, Tony! Woo! Yeah! He's not just a 50 freestyler. He's now an open water top 25 finisher. Colin just got disqualified for not swimming around the buoy, but we'll let it slide. Yeah, Colin! Woo! This is your mile champion. He took all these guys down. Good job, guys. These are the podium finishers. Good. Congratulations, sir. 16-19 Blake, Blake won his age group. Oh, yes! Wow. Thank you so much. You want to thank all the kids who asked me to do the 5K? <laughs> yeah, Ethan. Good job, dude. That's right. Yay, Bree! Yeah! Except for the first event, and we're just uh, really excited to have everybody here. Oh, yeah, look at that trophy. That thing is sweet. Zoom out, I just got home. I had a tremendous amount of fun at that open water swim in Florida. I can't wait to do more events with the Global Swim Series. I mean, that, that, that was an absolute blast. I definitely got some sun, got a little goggle tan line going on. I, uh, I did a clinic in St. Petersburg the day after the race. <laughs> Good. Had a great time there. I think everybody enjoyed it. Seemed like everybody liked it. And now I just got home and this just got finished. I picked this thing up on my drive home this morning. I have collected bag tags for 20 years. And when we moved into this house, I found a box of all of my old tags and I went through all of them and I pulled out like 50 or 60, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how many of them there are here, but I pulled out a bunch of my favorite ones and I had it framed. And here it is. This is so cool. It's museum glass, so you can't even tell that there's glass. But they're all like raised up just slightly. So in the middle, I mean, there's my Olympic trials one. There's my duel in the pool tag. Swim me to champions from 2010. These are basically in order. So all the way down here, starting back to the first one from 2006. And I've actually got some even older ones than that. The Swim Me to Champions meet was my favorite in California back in the day. U.S. Nationals in 2009. That was my first short course U.S. Nationals meet. Toyota Grand Prix. The Charlotte Ultra Swim. I used to love that meet. All these cool meets. The, the, the Pro-Ams in, in, uh, in Oklahoma and in Texas. And then like all the U.S. Swimming ones. Yeah, really, really proud of how this turned out. There's my original Olympic trials tag from back in 2008. That was when I first, look, there's Cody with the shaved head. There's shaved head Cody. And then there's the FINA Championship Series from a couple years ago. 
Yeah, anyway. One of my favorite things is seeing what swimmers and triathletes do with their ribbons and their medal collections and how they display it. And I kind of like nerd out about that stuff. So I'm gonna hang this on the wall in my office downstairs next to my big Team USA Olympic flag. Anyways, now let's take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Upside. Now Upside is an incredible app for anyone who regularly buys groceries, dines out, or has to buy lots of gas at the pump. With every one of those purchases that I make, I'm gaining cash back thanks to Upside. I have been using Upside for a while now and I was shocked at how much money I started earning back. It's definitely a no brainer. Obviously inflation has gone up and gas prices don't even get me started. So before I head to the pump, I open up my app and I look at what the deals are. 30 cents cash back, 40 cents, sometimes 50, 60 cents cash back per gallon. In compared to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn up to three times more cash cash back with Upside. The best part is you can cash out at any time, directly to your bank account, to your PayPal, or even an Amazon gift card, whatever you wanna do. Their service is incredibly easy to use, which is probably why they have a 4.8 star review on the App Store. It's super simple to get started. You just download the free Upside app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Use promo code Miller and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. You just claim your offer on the app, you check in when you're there, you purchase things regularly, and then you get cash back directly on the app. It's that simple. If you're interested, download the free Upside app at upside.app.link slash Miller. There's a link in the description below to get $5 cash back or more on your first purchase of $10 or more. Link down there. All right, everyone, that is it. I hope you have a fantastic week. As always, follow me online. We have merch on the merch store right there. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know, for whatever reason, I'm on Cameo. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on so you know when I drop new videos. The Cody Miller Show, my new video podcast, airs every Monday morning where we talk about all the current awesome breaking stories in the world of swimming and whatever you wanna talk about, send your questions in. If you'd like to book me for a clinic, fire me an email and I think that's all of the stuff. Yeah, okay, as always, I will see you in my next video.